Sally. Blup, blup. And this is my friend Joe the goldfish. Blup, blup. Aww. I wonder what Joe thinks I am when he sees me through the bowl. Maybe a giant octopus or a whale. What do you think? Maybe a giant sea creature hungry for goldfish. Ugh, yuck. <laughs> I would never hurt you, Joe. Or eat you. Looking at Joe in his little bowl makes me feel really big. But other times, like when I look at the stars or see a firework explode across the sky, I can feel pretty small. Have you ever felt really big or really small? That gives me an idea. Welcome to Biggest and Smallest with Callie. Friends, the biggest fish in the ocean is the whale shark. It's 41 feet long and weighs 21 tons. It's like a bus loaded with kids. That's really big. And the smallest fish in the ocean is the pa... paid? Pado cypress. Oh, like the Play-Doh without the L, and then cypress, like the tree. The Pado cypress, which is less than a third of an inch long and weighs barely anything at all, that's smaller than the nail on your pinky finger. Wow, that's really small. That got me thinking. Even though the whale shark is really big, you know what's bigger? The ocean around the whale shark. This is blowing my mind right now. I'd better sit down while we hear a Bible story. It's time for today's Bible story. Our story comes from the book of Job, and it's about a man named, you guessed it, Job. See, Job was a really good guy. I mean, a really good guy. Job was so good that when he offered his gifts to God, which were called sacrifices, he always remembered to offer some for others too, just in case they hadn't done it. That would be like if your mom or dad asked you to clean up your toys and asked your sister to put her clothes away. Then you cleaned up your toys and put your sister's clothes away too. Job was such a good guy that one day God pointed him out to Satan. Not a good guy. As an example, of just how awesome people can be. Satan didn't like that at all and decided to test Job to see how awesome he really was. Satan was sure Job only loved God because his life was perfect. What would Job do when really bad things started to happen? First, Job lost all his stuff and his beloved children. Then, Job got really bad sores on his body that were painful and itchy all the time. Job was miserable, but he remained a really good guy. He never said anything against God. Job's own wife told him he should yell at God for this, but he wouldn't do it. Even though Job didn't understand what was going on, he knew God did. He didn't get why all these awful things were happening, but he trusted God. Job knew that to believe in a very big God meant accepting the good and the bad things that come along in his life, which was so small compared to God. And like Job, no matter what we go through, we can find comfort in the fact that we are small, but God is big. That must have been terrible and really scary for Job. I can only imagine he felt pretty alone and maybe pretty small like Joe, my goldfish. But maybe when Joe sees me, he isn't scared because he knows, even though I'm really big to him, that I love him and I want to take care of him. Aww. Maybe Job knew the same thing even though he was going through some pretty rough stuff. Today's big idea is we are small, but God is big. Can you say that with me? We are small, but God is big. That reminds me, time to feed Joe. See you next time, friends. Yeah!